That right there is a three pound bag of uh, whole sardines from uh, mypetcarnivore.com. That was a generous gift from our subscriber, Joker James. I just got back from the river uh, walking a couple of dogs in the rain. I figured since uh, we're already wet, uh, I'll shoot a feeding video uh, with some of the sardines we got from James. Right here we got Ryuk, who lives in the house. He's merely in the kennel for the uh, intro to this video. Ryuk absolutely loves these whole sardines. I can't include Ryuk in a pack video with them anymore because <laughs> he uh, likes them so much that uh, he eats them so fast that uh, he eats more than he should. So I thought we'd shoot a uh, individual video with him today so he can take his time and enjoy them. I had to uh, stop the camera for a second so I could pull back the aspect ratio. As I say in all my videos, I like to pet and handle my dogs when they're eating. It teaches them not to be food aggressive. Raw fish is very healthy for dogs. It's full of all kinds of beneficial oils. got a neighbor who's moving across the alley and they put a bunch of stuff out in the alley for people to take so there's cars pulling up and going through it and that's what you see Ryuk uh, occasionally pause and look for you can hear the people back there Again, we uh, were just out walking in the rain, so we're both already wet, so I thought, uh, why not enjoy uh, the rain a little more and shoot a feeding video. I love the rain and snow. I'd like to give a big shout out to Joker James again for the uh, wonderful gift of this uh, fish from mypetcarnivore.com. He sent us stuff from there numerous times. The dogs love it. They like the sardines the most. I'll leave a link to that website uh, in the video description if you're interested in learning more about it. I'm not affiliated with them at all. It was just a gift. And the stuff we've been gifted from them, uh, from uh, James, has always been uh, great quality food. The dogs love it. You can see when. Uh, Ryu Keats alone, he's uh, a lot more laid back and relaxed. <laughs> he can take his time. He doesn't have to uh, wolf it down, so to speak. Because I know I'll get comments in the 
video description and I'll say as I do in every video you don't have to worry about fish bones as long as you're feeding raw fish it's cooked bones that are dangerous cooking the bone changes the bones consistency makes it brittle hard indigestible and prone to both the uh, perforations and obstructions of the bowel because of that raw bones won't do that but you do want to make sure that your dogs are adequately chewing them up before swallowing them because chewing is the first stage of digestion many kibble fed dogs switching over to raw food have a tendency to gulp it one of the ways you can remedy that is feeding them large pieces like whole chicken leg quarters or large whole fish fully frozen which will force them to learn to get to chew their food properly Did a beautiful walk this morning. Took Lobo, Kurgan, and uh, uh, K Bar out on our first hike. And then when we got back, I took Toki out on a solo hike. And then I just got done walking Reeve around the lake. And it's only 10 a.m. <laughs> Had a busy morning walking, but uh, I love the rain and wanted to get out in it and uh, the dogs seem to enjoy it too. That video of Toki's hike, uh, if it's not on the channel by the time this video is up, it will be up uh, right after. Some beautiful footage down there. I'd like to take the time to welcome all the new subscribers to the channel. I've picked up uh, about 3,000 new subs in the last few days. Welcome. I've got uh, over 4,400 uh, plus videos on the channel and uh, numerous uh, playlists. I hope you like uh, the content. lighting from this angle.
Nice to see him taking his time to eat this three pounds of sardines. Again, if the other dogs were out, he would have probably inhaled that in uh, <laughs> two minutes. I think part of the reason why he inhales his food so fast when he's around the other dogs is uh, he's a rescue dog and when I got him as a puppy he was pretty underweight and it's my understanding that he was kind of faring for himself with a bunch of other pups so uh, he probably had to learn to eat as fast as he could whatever he could to make sure he got some uh, when he was in that situation. As you can see uh, he takes his time and relaxes uh, when he uh, eats alone now, and I like to see that. When we first got him, uh, that wasn't the case. <laughs> if you'd like to learn about Ryuk's story, uh, if you go back to my videos uh, uh, early last summer, that's uh, summer 2022, uh, you can see all the videos when I got him, and I, I tell, uh, tell his story and his background. like to give a big shout out again to uh, subscriber Joker James for the wonderful gift. Uh, the dogs always love it when you send them food. Thank you. I appreciate it, buddy. Picking up any scraps? Fell through the grate. Moving the grate to get underneath it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this raw feeding video with Ryuk. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell down below. You'll get uh, email notifications when our new videos come out. Check out our merch store. Got lots of cool merch. Hats, sweatshirts, t-shirts, etc. Men and women's sizes. Even have some shower curtains and blankets. <laughs> I actually have one of the fleece blankets and uh, they're very nice. And it is starting to get cold. At least up north here it is. I've been getting in the 40s and uh, 50s at night which makes for uh, great sleeping. I like uh, cool weather for sleeping. I'm one of these people, though, that uh, in the winter uh, even has his bedroom window cracked open a slight bit uh, just because I like the crisp air in the bedroom. Well, there you go. That's my homie, Mr. Ryuk. He just polished off three pounds of uh, whole raw sardines from uh, MyPetCarnivore.com. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and share. See ya. There you go. Bye. Thanks for watching. Check out our merch store down below.